Hey, welcome to the tour of the animal cell. I'm ectobiologist, but you can call me John. And this is Carcino Geneticist, who you can just call Carcat. Buzz off. He's a natural crab. <laughs> we'll start off with the cell membrane. It's like the skin of the whole cell. This part makes sure no viruses get into the cell and keeps everything bound together so nothing spills out of the cell. Oh, and by the way, all these parts of the cell are called organelles. Get it? Little organs? <laughs> Next is the nucleus. The nucleus of a cell is usually somewhere in the middle of the cytosol. Oh, and the cytosol is this jelloish substance that all the organelles float around in. Yeah. Anyways, the nucleus is like the brain of the cell, directing reproduction and protein synthesis. Wait. What is this supposed to be? Uh, that's the nucleus. So why is it staring at me? I made it look happy. I mean, it must be glad to be in charge of the whole cell while being protected by the nuclear membrane. If you guys don't hurry up, we'll run out of time. Alright, I'll just make some quick changes then. Wait a second. And there. What did you do? Here are the chromosomes that carry the DNA of the cell. And this is the nucleolus, which makes RRNA for the cell. Next up is the endoplasmic reticulum, or known as the ER. This organelle has two parts, actually. They are the rough and smooth ER. Smooth ER makes lipids, detoxifies poisons, and stores calcium for the cell. Rough ER makes tons of proteins and is covered in ribosomes, giving it a bumpy look. Also, Ribosomes are these organelles that make proteins, but the bound ones on the rough ER make exported protein, while these free ribosomes make protein that stays in the cell. Okay, so now this is the Golgi apparatus. They store and secrete proteins and lipids, and they mostly end up bo bonding these materials with sugars. And did you know? The Italian scientist who discovered this organelle named it after himself. <laughs> Pasta! <laughs> Anyways, the lysosomes are next. Lysosomes act like the cell's digestive system. They also are called suicide sacs because they could even digest themselves. And these are the mitochondria. They create energy for the cell, which is measured in ATP. Because of this, they are often called the cell's powerhouse. And these are called peroxisomes. They break down fatty acids, detoxify alcohol, but produce hydrogen peroxide. And they also hold enzymes that break that toxic, toxic stuff down. And these fuzzy things are the centrioles. They help out when a cell divides. And they stay within this area near the nucleus called the centrosome. And that's pretty much it on the organelles of the animal cell. Any questions? Yeah.